calling in all of the angels, all of the ascended masters, all of the light beings who wish to be of assistance. Calling in all of the Lemurian guides and guardians, all of the crystal beings. I'm calling in all of our higher selves, our divine selves to be present. To the powers of the East, element of air, land of dawn, I call you to this circle. I call upon Archangel Raphael. Teach us, heal us, show us your ways. To the powers of the south, element of fire, land of high noon, I call you to this circle. I call upon Archangel Michael. Teach us, heal us, show us your ways. To the powers of the West, element of water, land of dusk, I call you to this circle. I call upon Archangel Gabriel. Teach us, heal us, show us your ways. To the powers of the north, element of earth, land of midnight, I call you to this circle. I call upon Archangel Uriel. Teach us, heal us, show us your ways. To the powers above, to the stars, the moon, the sun, the wind, the sky, I call you to this circle. I call on our star brothers, star sisters, all of the ascended masters, angels, archangels, be with us. Teach us, heal us, show us your ways. To the powers below, to the earth, to the animals, to the people, to the rocks, to the trees, to the oceans, to the streams, to the mountains, to the forests, to the desert. I call you to the circle. Teach us, heal us, show us your ways. Into the sacred center, to the mystery of all creation, to the womb. Teach us, heal us, Show us your ways. And so for those of you that are on dial-up, if you watch it later on, you'll see that I've got this beautiful octahedron shape. And then it, again, if you're on dial-up, you can just imagine this beautiful four-sided pyramid facing up and then the four-sided pyramid facing down. So we're just going to start by breathing into our bodies. And breathing in pure crystal light into every area of your body. And just noticing any areas in your body that are feeling stiff, or that you might be feeling pain. And allow the light to dissolve those areas away. And then exhale them on your out breath. Once again, breathing in. Noticing any dark areas, breathing that light right, right down into every area of your feet, your ankles, your pelvis, your neck, your shoulders, 
allowing them to become brighter and brighter, and then again, exhaling on the out breath. You should feel yourself becoming more and more calm, more and more centered. And I want you to breathe light right into your spine. And just see and feel your spine clearing with this beautiful light as you breathe. And allow your spine to begin to grow long like a tail of light down, down into the earth. Feeling it growing down, down through all the layers of the rocks and the shale and the soil. And then all the way down to the crystal heart of our planet. And then wrapping your beautiful tail of light around the core of the earth. Feeling this connection of love, of grounding, the nurturing of our planet. And just allow this energy to flow up and into your body. And just feeling this grounding, this anchoring. And now breathing light into your heart chakra. As you do, gently feeling your heart begin to open and expand with this light. And just feeling sweetness, feeling the love that's within you all the time. Now beginning to see yourself within the most beautiful large octahedron shape. Seeing a beautiful four-sided pyramid starting at the base of your feet, extending up all the way above your head to a beautiful point. And then at your feet, down into the earth, seeing another beautiful four-sided pyramid extending down, down, equal in length and down into the earth, its mirror image. And just seeing and feeling this beautiful octahedron, the octahedron of love, the octahedron of compassion, And as you breathe light into your heart, beginning to feel your heart activating with light and laugh. You might even see this as a beautiful pink energy. And as you breathe in, seeing it becoming brighter. And as you breathe out, seeing this beautiful octahedron filling with this pink energy of love and light. And again, breathing in, feeling your heart, feeling this love and light within. And on the exhale, seeing this pyramid filling with this beautiful love and light emanating from your heart. And I'm calling on all of the ascended masters, calling on all of the light beings who wish to be of assistance, calling on the archangels, and feeling their presence here this evening on this sacred day of the lunar eclipse. I'm also calling forth our higher or divine self. So I'm asking you to go within, calling forth your divine higher self to be with you. I'm 
we're also asking spirit, God, goddess creator, to guide us in this sacred work. Maybe there's a part of your life that you're working to transform right now. Maybe there is something that you're bringing harmony to. As you focus on this, asking spirit, asking your higher self to illuminate, to show you any areas where you are still in conflict, where you are still at war with yourself, with others, with the world. So you might begin to see images of this area of your life. You might begin to know what this area of your life is. Or you might see parts of yourself that you are with, at war with. allowing yourself to receive this in whatever way is perfect for you at this time. What part of you are you still in conflict? What part of you is ready to be released this evening? In love and light, integrated back into harmony. Allowing this piece of you, this part of your life, to either step forward within this beautiful octahedron. Or allow yourself to be shown this part. Also asking the angels, the archangels in our higher self, to help us to know what it is that we can do or what is needed to bring balance, to bring harmony. Again, allowing yourself to receive this in whichever way is perfect for you at this time. You might hear the guidance, you might know, or you might be receiving it energetically, just allowing it to happen perfectly for you. Knowing that the healing, that the transformation is happening right now, Asking higher self and spirit again to bring forward any parts of yourself, any parts of your life in which are needed more harmony. And what parts of yourself are you still at war that you need to forgive? Again, you might be shown areas of your life, such as relationships, finances, health. Letting these areas come into this beautiful octahedron of love and compassion. Knowing that as we do, the healing is taking place, the transformation. knowing that our intention to allow the healing of these places sets it in motion. So 
Again, asking the Ascended Masters and the Light Beings to show us or allow us to know what it is that we can do to reestablish harmony, what it is that we can do to come to peace with this part of ourselves, this part of our life, this part of our relationships. Now as you tune in with all of the beautiful light beings, we're tuning in in this beautiful octahedron of love and compassion. And I'm now allowing and calling forth the energy of this transformation, this healing to be fully present within us. So opening up your heart wider, feeling more and more of this love and light. And feeling the transformational shift. as we come into peace with ourselves, I'm inviting you now to experience and feel the higher self gift that's been hidden within this conflict. What is the gift as you heal or transform this part of yourself? I'm just feeling this new energy within you. Just feeling more and more of your higher self now present, your divine self within.